Hello? Hey, is this Bruce? Yeah. I spoke to you last week about the Barbie yeah. lobster. How you doing? Before we get to Barbie lobster, do you see any colorful lobsters in this tank? Check out the screen for some pointers in finding them. You might see a red, a blue, and even a white lobster in this tank. Lobsters eat a pigment that shows up as different colors as it moves through the lobster's layers of skin and shell. Sometimes this pigment isn't evenly spread out, like a blue lobster has its pigment concentrated in the shell layer. But some colors are just not natural on lobsters, like checkered patterns or bubblegum pink. You might be wondering exactly what is the Barbie lobster. Answers coming up. Yeah, it looked, looked pretty bizarre seeing that come up in the trap all, all dressed up like that. The red blouse and the check skirt and the, and the uh, high heel shoes. He actually did say that he had to uh, lift the skirt up to see if, if it was actually a female lobster. Yup, some mischievous Maine lobsterman dressed up a lobster as Barbie and left her circulating through Maine lobster traps. And while tracking lobsters via Barbie costume might be creative, Warming Oceans have got lobstermen working with scientists to develop innovative ways to track lobster movement due to temperature changes. You see, if New England waters become too warm for her liking, Barbie may make the big move north to find the cool water she likes. This is an issue for many animal species that are trying to cope with warmer oceans. Keep listening to meet someone on the front lines of this research. Blue waves! This one records the temperature on the bottom every hour. Surprisingly, it'll last underwater for almost three years. Dave Cassani is a Cape Cod lobsterman who has teamed up with scientists to study lobster behavior through his lobster traps. We put this on the trap, so now we can coordinate and look at our catch on the bottom related to temperature. And having done this over a, a lot of years, we can see if there's any kind of climatic change. We can tell on the bottom if there is a warming or cooling. Creative partnerships between scientists and fishermen can revolutionize how research is done. To get your community involved in such efforts, see the links at neaq.org tours.